Hi teachers, it's Matthew from Griffin Education Enterprises and in this video, how to create video pins for your TPT products on Pinterest, I'm going to show you how to create video pins just like these. So this video is for two people. It's for the TPT author who has never made a video but is willing to learn and it's applicable to someone in another field who is interested in making video pins. This is made by a teacher after all. So there's four main steps to this video. First, you need to create the video pin title overlay. Second, you need to record your product, whether that's a physical product or via animations. Three, you create the video pin using a video editing tool, which I will show you. And number four, you publish this on Pinterest. If you follow these four steps, you will be well on your way to publishing video pins on Pinterest. Okay, so there's two parts to creating the video pin title overlay. First of all, you can create this in two programs. You can create this in PowerPoint, which is my preference, or you can create this in Canva. I've seen a lot of other people who can do that. If you're looking for Canva, I'll have a link to some tutorials, uh, how they went about that, but they're also pretty useful as well. So first thing we need to do, we need to set up the dimensions that are suitable for Pinterest. So we go to design, which I'm already in, click on slide size, custom slide size, in order to get that correct, all we need to simply do is we type in 600 px for pixels and 900 px for pixels once again. And then we have the correct dimensions automatically translated into centimeters. So the 600 by 900 pixel dimension is recommended by Pinterest. I've read a number of blogs in which they all say you've got to go with vertical pins. So very important that you do that. Now once we've got this, we want to go to File, Save As, click over here and we want to go down to a PNG file. That's the highest sort of resolution. You don't want to do a JPEG, that's for on websites. You want to do a PNG because you want a really high quality photo. So click on that, save that, and I just want the one slide. If you go all slides, you'll get all the files, but I just want the one. Okay, so that's the first part of creating the video pin title overlay. For part two of how to create the video pin title overlay, you will need to go to a website called Lunapic. Lunapic is probably the best place to go to. You can do that in Canva. There is a paid option, but with Lunapic, you can actually do this for free. So in order to do this, we go to upload. I have my PNG file right there ready for uploading. Now, what you do want to do, instead of clicking on transparent over here, notice how it's completely mucked up my video pin. You do not want to click on that. There's another area in Lunapic that you do need to go to. So I'm going to show you that now. So let's start again. Choose my file again. Select this. Okay, so instead of clicking on transparent straight away, you'd like to go to edit, down to transparent background. That will take you in here. All you need to do is simply click on what you want to make transparent. So I click there. Now, when you see that sort of checkered background, you know you have created a transparent background. So that's ready. Once you see this, you know you're finished with part two of how to create the video pin title overlay. We just need to save this now. All right, with that saved, we can now go to the second part, which is recording the product either physically or via animations. Okay, once we have created our video pin title overlay, the next decision you need to make is whether you're going to do some animations in PowerPoint to show off the products. If you're wanting to film your product in front of a camera, can I suggest that you go to a YouTuber called Chloe Pashhoff. Hopefully I've said your name correctly, Chloe. In her YouTube channel, she has a video called Video Pins on Pinterest, Videos in Marketing. The video is great. She shows her setup for how she actually films her video pins. She's got a um, she's got light rings. She has light rings. She's got a desk that's beautifully presented. She's got several maps that she just shows. So what I recommend if you're looking for that, um, go check out her video on her video pin creating tutorial. However, in my video, I'm just going to solely focus on animations. So what you can see here is that I have deliberately staged my animations in PowerPoint. I've given myself a lot of space, so if I need to zoom in on the video and get the aspect ratio correct, I've got lots of room to do that. So I'll quickly walk you through some of the animations I made in PowerPoint. 
So this wasn't too hard to do. There's a couple of courses um, with links to PowerPoint I will add. Um, there's also a few YouTube channels that are fantastic for learning how to do this, but I'm not going to show you how to do this in this video, but I'll show you where to go if you're uncertain. As you can see, it's a really simple animation, nothing too complicated. Now, if you're wanting to record your animations, you've got two options that I can recommend. The first is Loom. Originally, I started using Loom to record my animations and it worked quite well. However, I wanted to start recording videos in which the audio from the computer was captured. So, I then moved from Loom to Screencast Omatic, and I must say it's a really good application. I ended up purchasing the deluxe plan, so $36 over three years, I believe it is. I also think it records in slightly higher quality compared with Loom. However, you can't go past Loom, it is still a pretty good option for recording your animations. So once you've done that, I'm actually currently recording. So you simply just press the record button like normal, so you select the area of the screen, you let your animation run. Once your animation's run, that's really easy, that's it. You basically press stop, and you've recorded it, download it. Then you put it into your video editor, which I will show you how to do now. Okay, now we are going to put together our video pin. So a couple of things that I've done. I've imported the transparent title overlay that is currently sitting in my media file, and that is video track two. I've also imported my screen recording of the lattice method of multiplication playing out. Now some of you are really unfamiliar with the video editing software, that's perfectly fine. I've included some links below with some courses that I did and some YouTube channels that I looked at. They helped me enormously and just remember that everything is figure outable. You can actually do this but you do need to invest the time in order to learn this. But here's the quick and short version of how I've done this. So in order to set up the correct ratio, now remember this is done in DaVinci Resolve 16. I have got the free version. When tax time comes around, I am going to purchase the full version. However, we need to get the aspect ratio right. So we go to File, go to Project Settings, and you'll see here in Master Settings, I've got a custom template going, and it's 600 by 900 pixels, which is the recommended dimensions by Pinterest. Once you've got that, you in the Media tab, once you've imported your media, you can see here this looks like it's completely black, but it's actually a the transparent title overlay. And it's currently sitting on like that. So if you're seeing a black screen there, that's a really good sign. That means uh, it's completely transparent. Down below here is my video. Now you can see it is out of proportion at the moment. What I then did in DaVinci Resolve, I basically zoomed in and positioned it to the spot that I wanted. Uh, once you got all that set up, so you can see the, the a recording that I've previously done is playing out. You've got the title overlay at the top. And then basically, you've got a video pin. Your video pin is complete. All I then simply then did was went to deliver, add to render queue, start render. And then you're on your journey. Now one other thing, one other quick tip when making a video pin, make sure your title overlay is at the top because it's like a layer. Anything is at the top will play at the top. It's like PowerPoint when you bring something to the front. And what's down below is the video, or so I should say, what's down below is the animation that I recorded. If you did film your product, you would simply insert the videos down below that title overlay. And that's basically how you do this part of the video editing for a video pin. Now let's quickly look at Pinterest to see how long it takes to upload a video pin. So when uploading a video pin to Pinterest, it's exactly the same as uploading a regular pin. All you need to simply do is click on Create Pin, drag and drop your video over there, and it'll basically upload straight away. Now, it does take some time before the video pin does go live. Pinterest does say it takes 24 hours, but when I uploaded my first video pin, it took about 36 to 48 hours. 
each subsequent video pin took about 24 hours or less in my experience. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this and you learned how to create video pins. I really struggled with this sort of uh, learning that I've just done. And hopefully it's made, it will make your journey to for video pins much easier. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this content, leave a comment down below. I love community engagement. I'm Matthew. Thanks for listening. Ciao.